Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're going to discuss the best way to burn calories. So <laughs> the real person answer, if I'm going to cut to the chase here, is do whatever <laughs> what you can do that will keep you active, right? So whatever type of exercise you like doing is a good way to burn calories. Second, uh, best way to burn calories is to not need to burn them. So watch what you're eating. Don't eat, don't overeat. Don't look at exercise as a way to excuse your poor eating habits. That is not the right way to think about this. It's, it's easy to fall into that trap because we like to indulge in some, you know, various foods and stuff. Um, but for a long-term healthy solution, it's really hard to keep high exercise intensity up throughout the rest of your life, you're going to build the bad habits, right? Um, a good example, a lot of people that I train come to me because I, you know, I have a background in working with physical therapists, transitioning people into fitness out of therapy. And what these people are accustomed to is working out four, five, six, seven days a week really intensely, and then they get hurt. And then they can't do that anymore. And so they can't do their deadlifts and donuts anymore. And they still eat the donuts because they love donuts, right? And so they lose their body composition. They start to put on more fat and they lose their muscle. So if you had not built these poor habits in the first place, these um, I'm going to eat whatever I can because I work out a lot, then, you know, you don't have to recover from that. Uh, a couple, you know, several years ago, there were we had the Olympics and Michael Phelps's diet was revealed. He basically swam all day and had a bunch of McDonald's and stuff. That is because he puts out a lot of energy. Um, if he stops working out, it's easy for him to put on a lot more weight. So just understand that there is this balance that you need to be aware of. Now, <clears throat> The best way to burn calories. We talked about logistically just whatever will keep you active. Um, and then we talked about don't need to by <laughs> eating better. Third point that I want to make. So in general, I can burn more calories if I never stop moving. So purely aerobic, like moderate intensity, sweating like crazy, but can sustain this level of activity. Those types of activities are going to burn more calories because I can do them for longer. Now, burning more calories within a given time, then we start to look at something more like high intensity interval training or something like really intense weightlifting where I'm pushing myself to the brink of fatigue in that given point of time, I'm producing more calories or I'm burning more calories. Yes, but I can't maintain that level of activity. So while I recover from it, my caloric output dips back down. And so I'm not producing or I'm not burning. <laughs> I did it again. I'm not burning as many calories as before. Um, so if my only goal is to burn more calories, generally, I'm going to want to do something aerobic that I can support for a long period of time. Now, the last thing I want to ask you is why do you want to burn more calories? Again, is it so that you can eat more? <laughs> Um, that's probably not the goal, and it's just a lot more work. It's a lot more wear and tear on your body to exercise to uh, compensate for your bad diet. Now, that kind of works. It really does. If I work out enough, you know, the Michael Phelps example is a really good example. He works out all day, and he can still be healthy and eat McDonald's because it's just calories, it's not providing him with that much nutrition, but he's burning off all those calories anyway. For the average person who has a job, a life, a family, then you're not going to be able to spend all your time working out, right? You're going to have to spend your time doing things that are a little bit less intense and maybe require <laughs> a little bit less calories. So I would consider, again, ask yourself, why do you want to burn more calories? Probably, if you're looking to burn more calories, you're looking to circumvent making the dietary changes that you need to make. So 
just a little food for thought.